Good evening. Happy New Year. My name's D.A. It's good to see you. I'm doing reading and studying. One time I was here late in the other building, late one night, I was vacuuming between the rows of chairs, and the stage was dark, and from behind the stage, someone comes out late, it's just a couple of us in the sanctuary, and uh, they come straight to me, beeline, right at me, and it's Pastor David, he says, hey man, hey, you're trying to read too much at one time. Like, I've never talked to him about my reading habits, ever, in my life, how does he know? He's like, you're trying to read so much at the Bible, you're not getting it in you, brother. Slow down, just read a little bit at a time, and let the Lord do the work in your life. The passage I want to share with you is Deuteronomy 6. The Shema, we say. It starts in verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand. Sometimes you'll see Pastor David who have that bracelet. Uh, he doesn't wear it as much as he used to, but that's uh, from this verse right here. But you shall uh, bind them as a sign on your hand. They shall be as frontlets between your eyes, and you shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. You may have heard my story where I was in deep trouble when I came to the bridge, uh, far away from what the Lord was trying to do in my life. And, but this right here, uh, Pastor David faithfully teaching us the word verse by verse and us making application of it in our lives has radically changed the people who come to the bridge. So the encouragement consistently every time you come in here is sit down, receive the word, study it, and allow God to bring forth fruit in your life. You know, this is the offensive weapon that we have, isn't it? The enemy may, may come at us from the left and from the right, but this right here is our offensive we weapon. And as we hide our word, uh, excuse me, his word in our heart, we will not sin against him. Love y'all. Happy New Year.